when you drink a glass of water, you're drinking billions of bacteria, and they're not the bad ones. They're not the ones that are going to give you gastroenteritis. So the water that is in the lakes, the water that's in our drinking water, are all important parts of that cycle where the microorganisms live. And so think about that the next time you look at the lake. I'm Trina McMahon, and I'm an associate professor in the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department and in the Bacteriology Department at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And my research is mostly in microbiology, and so I study the microorganisms that live in our water. Well, locally, we definitely have this concern about the water quality in the lake, uh, particularly Lake Mendota, the other lakes as well. Uh, and so the algae blooms cause these disgusting scums to form. And phosphorus is usually the limiting nutrient for that. And phosphorus was put into the lake when Europeans first settled the area because they put their untreated sewage into the, into the lakes. And that quickly caused a lot of algae blooms and a lot of phosphorus to be sequestered in the lake. But phosphorus doesn't leave a lake very quickly. In five years, I'd like to have um, a complete ecosystem model for Lake Mendota, for example. And that model would predict how the water moves and how fast and where, and it would predict when the algae blooms are going to happen and where they're going to accumulate and so that we could make warnings. Once we be able to make these kinds of predictions about when and where the algae blooms will happen, that we'll also understand them well enough that we can do interventions so that we could either get that phosphorus out of the lake somehow or prevent it from being accessible to the algae right when they need it. And so you can imagine some engineering solutions, a lot of them cost a lot of money, but bringing technology that was developed in the wastewater treatment industry to remove phosphorus from sewage, we might be able to use some of that to remove phosphorus from the water in the lakes. And we actually use biology to do that. We use a very special type of microorganism that stores a lot of phosphorus inside of its body, inside of its cell. And we study that in the wastewater treatment environment, but we would love to, to bring that organism into the lake somehow so that we could use it to remove phosphorus from the lake.